Hey there, everybody. I'm going to make a quick video to show you how you can uh, create an assignment in Blackboard. Uh, this is the way that most of the general chemistry um, virtual labs, I'm calling them. I don't know what else to call them. Uh, that's how they're going to go. So uh, I wrote a virtual lab for the titration experiment for the first week back. And what you can do is I've added everybody to um, a Blackboard site that's called the General Chemistry One Supplemental Master Site. Um, and then at the bottom, I put a couple of different links. The one for lab is the lab modules. And so you would click here to see how um, I've introduced the assignment. You can just copy this entire blurb. Um, and then what you would do is go navigate to your own course. There's no way to copy this from this assignment from the module, the master site into your course directly like there is for tests. So you can just literally copy the words. And then you would go to your own section with your own lab modules link and you'd create assignment. So you go assessment and then assignment like this. And you name it something. Oh, you should probably spell things right. Did I spell that wrong? Nope. And then you can just paste the text. So the text has a link to the original procedure. And, um, and these links are set up to pop up in a new window so it doesn't obstruct whatever they were working on in Blackboard. Uh, and they have names on them. So it's a good idea to just copy this, this text so it's all formatted correctly. Um, and then this is the actual procedure they're going to complete. For this one, um, Joyce and I decided it made sense for people to do data calculations results and that was it no intro no conclusion um, and then there are some questions I put in there to hopefully get them to think about the process of titration a little bit um, so they should put that in their lab report too there will also be some screenshots um, of some of the virtual stuff so that's what you should expect to receive from them you can set a due date here keeping in mind that when you select midnight it's you know so like if I put in today's date 3.20 at midnight. That would have already passed. That was last night. Um, you can also select end of day, or I'm a big fan of selecting a time when I know I'll be at my computer, say like 3 p.m. or 6 p.m. or whatever, so that I can help them. Then you need to assign a points value. Then you want to go to submission details and allow unlimited attempts. This ensures that people who mess up on the first upload or whatever the situation is, um, get a chance to do it again without you having to manually clear their submissions. And then I'm a big fan of this. There's not a lot of writing in this assignment, but there's enough uh, questions that I don't want them to copy each other on to, to use safe assign. I like to allow students to see their safe assign report. Um, and that's, that's pretty much the essential part. So then you would hit submit and it creates a link. Um, in whatever folder you made it in. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions uh, or suggestions for the lab procedure or anything like that, let me know. Bye guys.